Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Crazy Dev, and in today's tutorial, we're gonna be making a online multiplayer platformer game from scrap. Now I'm personally using Turbo Warp, so that's why mine looks a bit different, and I got a few more buttons. But besides that, all the coding in this is the same. Not to waste your time anymore, so let's jump straight into this. Okay, so first things first, I have a sprite here. I do have one costume. It's just a Mario costume here. Um, I'm just gonna delete that one. And I already changed the size of my uh, sprite here to make Mario like an actual decent size. Um, yeah, so first I'm going to name this sprite player. This will be our actual player character, which we'll control. I'm going to create one more sprite. This one's going to be called level. And this will be our level. We can make this however we want. I'm going to make mine green. And be like that. I don't really like the outline. No outline. There we go. You can, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to make mine like this. This down a bit. Okay, we are all set. So, first things first, come into our player scripture. And, um, oh wait, sorry, we need one more sprite. This sprite's going to be called Multiplayer Manager. Now, we don't need a sprite for this one, so it won't take five years, so... Okay, so manager, bam, multiplayer manager. First things first, I'm gonna come over here to the multiplayer manager, and we're gonna create some variables. Uh, delete my variable, and we need to create some cloud variables. So the first cloud variable is P1. The second variable is P2. Uh, cloud variable as well. Also, okay, I just wanna say this now. Um, if you've never done multiplayer before, and you kinda want to understand kind of the gist of it, I recommend watching my last multiplayer video. Um, it does have like a bug in it if the second or the first player leaves before the second player But just watching it and understand getting to understand the basics of online multiplayer. That's great. But anyways, there you go. That's all Okay, anyways, so create another variable. Uh, I thought I'd just say that because yeah I uh, create another variable called ID make sure this one's for all sprites because we're gonna access this a lot I'll uh, make another one called um, uh, timer Pick this for this sprite only because we don't really need to ever access this again. Uh, well, uh, it's not in this project. Um, so yeah, okay. So first things first, we're gonna need the old one green flag clicked, and we're gonna set P. Um, first we're gonna set ID to zero, and we're gonna also set P one to something. Now, this is right about now. We need to decide where our players will start. Um, I'm gonna make my character start up in the air right here. And make sure you, um, actually, make him start up right there. So, make sure you grab these coordinates, and we're going to need to add 500 onto both of these. So, mine's negative 50 for the X plus 500. That's 450. Um, and then 130. Uh, let me see. 130 plus 500 would be 630. So, come over here. I'm going to, where is it? So, multiplayer manager. So, I need to set it to uh, 450. Let me double check. Okay, yeah, so 450 and 630. So, 450, 630. So, bam, make sure you check this 630 multiplayer. Okay, uh, duplicate this. I'm gonna set the P2. Then, what we're going to do is we're gonna go if, uh, if and else, and then put an if instead of the else statement. And we're gonna go if. Um, P1 is equal to this value up here. I'm going to just hit, click it and hit control C to copy it. Here we go, if P1 equals, and then, and if that's not true, if P2 is equal to that value. Okay, so in the first if statement, so if P1 is equal to that, we're going to set ID to 1. If it's not, and if P2 is equal to that, then we'll set P2 equal to, or our ID, my bad. Set ID equal to 2. Then we need to just come over here and I'm uh, a one green flag click forever set timer equal to sensing and then grab the timer. Oh yeah, one more thing. Make sure to put uh, wait three seconds after setting these variables. So wait three seconds, then do this if statement. I'll just give some delay for uh, networking and stuff, I guess. Uh, set timer equal to timer, and then what we'll do is we'll go when greatness or when loudness. So come to the events. Go when loudness is greater. And make change it from loudness to timer and go when timer is greater than our timer variable we will set our um 
oh yeah we need to grab an if statement so go to control if and we'll go if um id equals one so if we were player one and we are going to set p1 equal to this starting value over here again duplicate this p2 oh wait no yeah duplicate this whole thing actually you can get rid of that and we go if id is equal to two so if we were player two we're going to set player two to this starting value so basically what we're doing is we're checking if this player is this if that player or if the player like okay so we're using these variables cloud variables to send over our position data and then what we're doing with all these if, if statements to check if p1 p2 or whatever are equal to that that because basically what we're going to do is um when you leave the game or whatever or somebody's not playing it your character is just going to sit up here and that basically tells us that hey nobody's playing as player one or player two go ahead um so yeah okay now we can actually start coding so first things first with our player here we're gonna have to create some new variables um yeah so all of these variables are going for this spray only make sure you do this um, if you don't i think some stuff could break but yeah just make sure you definitely do it for x velocity and y velocity so we're gonna do is we're gonna go for this spray only and we're gonna go y val uh whoops then not make it for this right only so go y val for the spray only stands for x velocity and y velocity create another variable for the spray only called speed uh create another variable called gravity for the spray only and then create um do you have any oh do we have to do anything else i'm trying to think x velocity y velocity oh yeah one more thing lock for the spray only the first thing i want to say shout out to my guy um nick guy i'll try to link his channel down below he kind of created this platform controller um yeah i don't have tons of experience with platform controllers so i was just like so i'd find one and just try converting over to platform i think i might have changed one tiny bit of code in it but beyond that he meant uh program this or whatever so shout out to him for the original script anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go um red and green flag clicked and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go when green flag clicked this player is going to go to our starting position and again make sure this matches this variable right here or yeah make sure it matches that then what we're going to do is go go to 50 130 um yeah go to 50 negative uh negative 50 130 and then we're going to set let's see um set y value to zero there we go okay sorry uh and then go to control then grab a forever and what we're going to do is we're going to change our x velocity so change x val by or change x by x val then what we're going to do is i'm gonna also need to go i'm gonna do above this i'm gonna go change x file by our key inputs that we're gonna use for left and right subtracted by each other so i'm gonna grab a key d because this will be a positive value duplicate it key a then we need to multiply this by our speed but make sure you set your speed to a value or else your character won't move so come over here i'm gonna change it into a slider i'm just gonna move it up to seven i guess and turn it off from a slider to normal read okay uh so yeah again make sure you multiply it by speed so if i hit play here um i'm not going to do that for now eh. i can do it okay i'll hit play you see our character can move uh, advance blah, blah. i'm gonna turn some settings on because this is really laggy again this is just turbo warp coming in um Oh, that's my bad. Okay, so I did change X velocity by. Make sure you do set. That's on me. Let's change so set X velocity to this value, and then change X by. You can move left and right. Sweet. Okay, I, uh, I can actually hide all these variables because we don't need them. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, now we can actually go. So basically, change X by X value, and what we'll do is we'll go if we're touching, if touching level, then we're going to go um we're going to change our x by the inverted version of y but our x value which we do that by uh either multiplying it by negative one or subtracting zero by x value i'm just going to subtract it for now okay so basically this just inverts this and then we're also going to set x value to zero and if you run this we now have wall collision which is really cool how easy that is or how well it works Okay, so now we got that, um, let's do one more thing. We're going to come over here and we're going to go change y by 
y velocity or y vel. Then we're going to go if. Uh, make sure this is if then else again. We're going to go if touching. Let's see where is it. Uh, if touching level, we're going to then set. We're going to, oh yeah, we're going to change y y by and then we're going to invert y value again. So if yeah, so change y by zero minus y value, or you can multiply it by negative one. Then we're going to set y value to zero, and then we need one more if statement for jumping. Then we're going to go if um, let's see lock. Actually, you could just turn this to I'm um, a can jump or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so if lock is equal to one, then um, we're going to set y velocity to your jump height. I like I'm gonna do 18. Then we need to go set. We're gonna set lock to zero. And then come to this else part. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go change y vel by gravity. And make sure this sets your gravity. I'm gonna set mine to negative one. I think that's a pretty good gravity. Actually, I'll do one, negative 1.5. Bam. Actually, that worked. Okay. And then what we need to do here in the self statement as well is set the lock to 1. And if we hit play here. Our character will bounce. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> you make sure in this lock part, make sure that it should do another if statement if we actually press our space bar. So if lock is equal to 1 and we press our space bar, we're going to set our y value to our 18, which is my jump height. And yeah. So if we run this now, our character won't bounce. But we can jump. So that's really sweet. We move and we have wall collision. And yeah, so awesome. So I'm going to end it. Okay, yeah, so okay, this is working. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so now that we have that working, I am. We can start doing the multiplayer. So, first things first, come over here. I'm gonna go to my blocks. Make sure you make a new block called movement. This will save us a lot of time, and I think it might even make it a bit better. Uh, so, go movement. I'm gonna do run without screen refresh. I don't think this is necessary, but it might make it better. To be honest, I don't really know. <laughs> make sure you drag everything from the forever loop, not the top stuff, though. You're gonna leave everything here with this one if I clicked. Drag it in there, and you, now you can just use this movement thing. But we don't want to do that just yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one green flag clicked, and we're gonna go if ID is equal to one. So we're gonna go if ID equal to one. Then we're gonna call our movement function, and yes, yeah, so we're gonna call movement, and then we're going to go. Let's see. Uh, if ID is equal to one, then movement, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, sorry. I'm doing that. Okay, there we go. So, um, this actually needs to be if and else. Swap these like that. There we go. So, if ID is equal to one, call our movement function. And what we're going to do is we're going to set P1. We're going to join our X and Y. Plus 500. So, uh, you'll see it. So, we'll X position, Y position, operators plus 500. So, we're going to go X position plus 500 with y position plus 500 then join them together basically this is a method of make storing values or two values in one variable and then only you have to do is being that we're adding 500 and our x position never gets greater than three digits then we just have to add 500 and it'll always be a three digit number and then when we do the game or and then if we need to grab this value all we have to do is grab the first three digits of p1 and then subtract it by five if you don't fully understand that explanation i might have explained it a bit better in my last tutorial multiplayer tutorial um because that's mostly what i was talking about but i don't know okay so bam now we need to do one more thing and that's come over here and we need to go glide 0 0.1 seconds now this is the part that gets kind of lengthy of block um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go glide 0 0.1 seconds to X, which is going to be join letter one of Apple with letter one of Apple, and then join that join with the letter one of Apple. Then instead of being Apple, I'm going to shrink this for now. Instead of being Apple, it's going to be P1. And instead of being letter one for a limb, it's going to be one, two, and three. Then we're going to subtract 500 from this. 
and that's us grabbing our x position from p1 and duplicate this set this to four five and six and then we're going to put that so this one four five and six is for the y and then one two three is for x and bam now you just select this whole um oh yeah we need one more thing we need to go create clone of myself and then we can duplicate this whole chunk of code drag it down here and grab when i start as clone connect this remove this create clone of myself and then change this from id1 to 2 change this from set p1 to p2 and change just the p2 like so oh okay i'm gonna just grab it and if you guys don't have like scratch extensions or using turbo warp you'll have to drag them from this menu but i can just right click and change them okay and voila we now have online multiplayer so i'm going to now uh package this up and i'm going to show you guys it with two uh browser things or two windows and for those wondering how you actually do this it's actually quite simple all you have to do is first download this to your computer i'm just going to save to your computer uh yep this file menu will pull up save as whatever you want i'm going to name this tutorial the tutorial video or tutorial project i don't know okay project and hit save then all you have to do is pull up your browser so i'll pull up oh my bad pull up my browser and just here you go here's my browser and all you gotta do is search turbo warp uh yeah that's not true okay there turbo warp let it load and then come down here and go to turbo pra uh turbo warp packager i'll go full screen for this guys hit choose file choose the file that you just saved to your computer and then turn on the old settings you want here. I uh, had some settings on. Like that. I don't want that. And then scroll down. Now there's only really two ones I highly recommend doing. Do show green flag and show stop sign. Then scroll down. And then make sure you have plain HTML selected. And then hit package. And it's going to download it. Then all you have to do is open up your files. And then it should work. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to come over here to my second monitor. And pull up my files downloads double click it it should be html file it should be like oh should be like this kind of file thing sorry i know this isn't like the most professional thing in the world there we go and i'll duplicate these windows here you should get a window it should look like something like this it should like have this browser inside of here and you can just drive out like this and then all you have to do is hit play over here And as you see, we can now, uh, our character will fall after we wait our three seconds. Like so, and then come over here, hit play. And my character should fall. And then uh, you can see it's synced over both things, and I can move left and right, jump, that wall collision, all of that, and it's all working. And I come over here, I can move on this screen. And being that we used that glide 0.1 seconds, as you can see, it's, yes, it is delayed. That's mostly just because scratch variables aren't that fast at updating over the networks. But it is kind of smooth. It's not the smoothest thing, of course. And probably, and plus, my recording is getting really laggy. There we go. Okay. I don't know what that was about. It has dropped like to 20 FPS. Um, but it's not the smoothest thing, but it is works. So I'm just going to close these down. And yeah. So guys, that's how you make an online multiplayer platformer. I hope this was what you guys were asking for. You guys asked, uh, a few of you guys were asking in the comments. If you guys have anything else you might want me to add to this, let me know down below because I'm completely down with that. If you guys want, I could do a scrolling tutorial, which I actually might probably do that because it's actually not that hard to do. Um, just a tiny bit more ad adding on. But yeah, if, this, um, if you want to help me out or support me or get notified when my next video comes out, consider hitting that subscribe button or at least liking this video if it was helpful. Because by you liking it, puts it out to more people, and more people are going to get helped by this tutorial. Anyway guys, that's all for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.